What's up guys, it's John here and in this video I'm going to be looking at the plugin AAWP which is used to create content boxes and tables. Now in this video I'm going to be focusing on the content boxes and what I'm going to actually be looking at is how you can customise the content boxes so that you can add a custom title, a custom description, you can add a custom tag to a content box as well as how you can add another button so that as well as promoting Amazon you can promote another affiliate programme or another retailer as well. If that sounds interesting to you, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click that little bell to get notified when I release a new video, and also don't forget to smash that like button as it really does help me out and get this video out to other people. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the plugin AAWP, but what I'm going to be looking into is how you customise the content boxes. Now, with the content boxes, you can do quite a lot of customization. You can customise the title, which, which sometimes is important because sometimes if you look on Amazon and you pull in the title with the... API from Amazon, you get a big long string title that's got that's that what they've really done is they've stuffed it with keywords to try and rank for different items that are related to that particular product. Now this this doesn't look good when it's shown on your website, so I'm going to show you how you can customize that. I'm also going to be showing you how you can customize the description. Now what a lot of people do, which is okay, but for me I would never do this, is they they pull the, the custom information that Amazon provides and display that in their content boxes. So the content box might be, say, you're highlighting a best pick, you're highlighting a runner-up, you're highlighting a budget pick, something like that. Now, what they do is, they, they pull in the information from Amazon, and generally, it's just information about that product. So, one, people are using AWP and are just pulling that information in, are gonna be showing the same information. And two, it doesn't really tell the customer why they should buy that product. For me, when you're using a content box, the reason for using it is to really highlight a product and tell that person there and then why that product is probably the product that they should choose, given the advantages of using that product over another product, and why you perhaps chose that as, say, your best pick or your runner-up, or why it makes a good budget pick because it's affordable, while it still has some of the features of high-end products, things like that. The other thing we're going to be looking at is how you can add a custom tag to your, to your content tables. So a custom tag is, when you sign up to the Amazon Associates program, you're given a tag that's linked to your account, and you include that in all your links so Amazon knows that you've referred that sale and you earn a commission. Now, what you can do is, instead of using just one custom tag, which it gives you on Amazon Associates, it gives you the ability to get an, a new tag. So, say I, so every time I create a new post, for example, I also create a new tag on my Amazon Associates account, and I use that tag only on that post. So then, if I've got, say, 50 articles, each, each article has a different tag. So when I go to my Amazon Associates reports to see where the earnings are coming from, I can then break down the earnings by each post because each tag is associated with only one post. The other thing I'm gonna be showing you is how you can add another button to the content box. So you can have the button that goes to Amazon, but you also have the ability to add a second button to your content box that that you, then you can send people to another affiliate or to another retailer that sells that same product. This is good because one, some quite often you can get join another affiliate program and they will pay you more than Amazon will pay you percentage wise in commission. The other reason is it, it gives the reader a choice of of where they could buy that product, so they don't just have to buy it from Amazon. They can buy it from another another retailer. So I'm gonna jump on my computer in the moment and I'm gonna show you some simple steps that will allow you to customize the description of a content box. That will also allow you to put a unique Amazon tag in there. I'm also gonna be showing you how to add that second button so you can promote another affiliate program as well as the Amazon Associates program. If you do that, you're getting a lot more information from it because you'll be able to track where the sales are coming from in terms of which article and not just know that it's coming from your site. You'll be able to well, promote another affiliate program, so you'll earn extra commissions there, and you'll be able to do a custom description, so you'll be able to put all the good points and tell people why they really should choose that product and not just pull in genetic information that if they went to Amazon, they could see anyway. They'd, as, a, as an affiliate, it's your job to help them choose the best product, which means telling them why, say, that best pick or top pick is, is the product that, that you recommend. It's, it's your chance straight away to say, this is the product I recommend, and this is why I recommend it. So we'll jump on the computer now, and we're gonna have a quick look on how you can customize it. It should only take a few minutes, so it's not gonna be a very long video. 
So first of all, I'm going to jump in and just going to show you a couple of examples of what the content boxes look like for anybody who's not who's not familiar with it. So a content box is like this. So for example, on this one, we've got the best pick, we've got the title, and then we've got the description, which is there, and then we've got you can buy it from Amazon, click on that, it'll go to the Amazon with the affiliate link. If you click on that, it'll go to eBay with the affiliate link. And there's two examples with two products. So we've got a best pick here and we've got a runner up. So this is the example I'm gonna use for this tutorial. So you've got it here. So again, I've used the custom code, which AAWP gives you. And what we've got here is we've got the title, which, it, which it's pulled in on its own. We've got the information that it's pulled in from Amazon about the product and we've got the one button. First of all, I'll just show you the plugin. So the plugin I'm using and which is very good is AAWP. Now AAWP, it doesn't only create content boxes, it also can create content tables, but we're not going to look at this in this episode. I'm just looking at how to customize these content boxes. So this is the plugin AAWP. I will include a link below. Now the link below is an affiliate link. So if you order through that, thank you very much. As always, I only recommend products I actually use. So I do use this on all my sites, AAWP. So I do recommend it. There's a link in the description. So once you've installed AAWP, you can start creating these tables. Now, if I show you the back end of my screen, so this is where you would create them. So a standard box would look something like this. Now, what this is, is this is the product. So it's going to pull in the product for the table, which I've highlighted here. And I've actually added the tracking ID here. Now, you don't, have, you don't actually have to add this tracking ID because if I was to delete the tracking ID, it would still work. It would still work and track it because in the back end of the actual plugin, it gives you the option to add your tracking ID. So it tracked it to that. But by putting in this tracking ID, use another tracking ID instead instead of the default one that you've put in the settings when you're setting up AWP in the back end on your website. So for me, I always make sure you add tracking ID equals, and then you have the tracking ID exactly as shown here. You obviously would add your own tracking ID here. Now, if you want to know how to get a new tracking ID, if you go to the Amazon Associates and log in, if you click on your email address, which is usually in the top right corner, there's an option to add new tracking IDs. Now, every time you do a new post, I recommend that you create a new tracking ID for that post and then only use that tracking ID for links created for Amazon for that post because when you go to reports later on and you've got traffic and you've got earnings, you'll be able to go to reports and you'll be able to see all the revenue generated and the different tracking ID. So this tracking ID earned this much, the tracking ID earned this much, the tracking ID earned this much. That way, you'll be able to go to the uh, reports, be able to see what's making money, then you can go onto them posts, you can look at improving them, but you'll be able to go to ones that are not maybe not creating as many sales as you might have thought, you'd be able to see that they are getting clicks and people are going to Amazon because it shows you that, de that information as well, but you'll be able to also be able to say, well, this is getting a lot of clicks, but not really many sales. So you could work on improving that article, perhaps creating one of these, these content boxes, making it better. So, so that's the tracking ID. So I'm gonna show you the different tracking boxes and what you can do. So if I go back to the front end here, this is an example. Best blenders for smoothies. Now this isn't a live article, it's just one I've created to show you how to use this. So this content box right here is a cut is a, it's it's pretty much a standard content box. So it's pulled, it's used the standard information, it's pulled in the title of the product, it says red there. It's pulled in the information from Amazon itself, which I'll just show you here. So if we go over to the click on the link, you'll see that it's pulled in the, this this information here. And it's also put in a view price on Amazon button. I'll also add that the actual information on the button, you can actually customize that too in the back end. So all you do is, this is the short code, which I've highlighted. You would add a new short, so this is Gutenberg. I'll mention that, this is Gutenberg. So what I usually do is click on this plus button here, then I'd usually go search short code, insert the short code. So this is the short code here. Then you could paste, you could paste the short code into here. I'll delete that because I've obviously already done it here. So if you just use what people usually do as standard, you will end up with just the tracking ID. You can use the ASIN number, which is this, which you get from Amazon. I'll quickly show you where you get that number from. So if you go on a product like this and you scroll down slowly, 
you will see an ASIN number. This is the number that you always use. Sometimes it's here on the screen, sometimes for some reason it's a bit further down, it's on your left of the screen, but, but that's the number that you are always paste in. When you put in your short code in, which is this, you need to always make sure that it's in the correct format and that you've always got these little uh, exclamation marks, I think they're called, aren't they? But like, always make sure that the format is correct. So anyway, I'll have a look at something else for you. So we're gonna look at this next one. So this is a content box with a custom description. Now I think this is really important to put a custom description in because if you're gonna use this content box as your best pick or a runner up or a budget pick, then what happens is this is your chance to say, this is the product I recommend and this is why. If you write your own custom description like this, it can make, it can really increase your conversion rate. It really does help to drive traffic and, and tell people why this is the best product for them or why it's your best pick. Like what features does it have that the other ones didn't? Or this particular company has excellent customer service or the warranty is five years and with multiple manufacturers, it's only two. This product is excellent because of the materials it uses, the features it has. It's your, it's your chance to really make this product stand out if you want to add a custom description, all you need to do is in the back end here, so this is a custom description, you put description equals exclamation mark like this, and then you paste in your then you paste in your custom description like this, and then end it with that little exclamation mark. So basically it's the same box. The only bit we're adding onto this now is this section here is added in description equals and then you write your description and that is how you add a custom description into your box if you want just pause that to just make quick notes of how that's formatted so now we've looked at how you do a custom description we're actually going to have a look at how you can add a custom a custom title so quite often with a custom title it will pull in it from amazon so with this it's actually quite clean it's got the red there like this but as you can see, it's pulled it in from Amazon exactly how it is, you can see it here. So if I go back, you can see it's there. But what happens if you want to just add the, the actual name of the product and get rid of, the, rid of the red? So what you would do for this, put title equals, and then you've got like, again, the, the little uh, commerce. I forget what they're called. Anyway, that's why I put name of product, because that's what I put there. And that is where you put the name of the product. So you just want to add title equals, and then the name of the product, as I've shown here and then you will get a custom title like this. So the other thing I, I, wanna, I wanna show you how to do is you can actually add custom buttons where you can add another affiliate program or another retailer. Now this gives, gives the person reading your site that they might not buy from Amazon or for some reason might not want to buy from Amazon. From my experience, most people do, but it's always good to give them another option. So in this example, I've done another button here we can see it's next to the Amazon button and it says buy from Walmart. You can put custom whatever button, what text you need there for whatever affiliate program or retailer you're promoting. You can also customize the color of the button, which, which I'll show you that in a bit to make it stand out a bit more. So if I go back to the back end again, you'll see here that if you want to add a new button, then this is quite easy. So, oh, I forgot to mention, you've got to put button on, button detail like this, text equals, and then in this bit here that I'm hovering over, you can then put buy from Walmart or buy from whatever retail you're actually using. So it's button, detail, text equals. So again, just pause it if you want to see that there. Then that controls what your button says. Then what you can also do is you can put detail page equals. And then in this bit where I put the eBay partner network URL here, that is where you would put the affiliate link for the other affiliate program that you're promoting. So that's a great way of giving people who are on your site another option of where to buy that, that product. So finally, I don't want to go too deep into it, but I'll, I also want to add that you, with the AAWP plugin, you can actually add a product and you can pull it in with the Amazon API, which is very important because as you probably know, you're not allowed to download an image off Amazon onto your computer and then back upload it back onto your website. That's a way of getting banned, it's a no-no. So one way around this is you can use Amazon images, but you've got to pull it in with the Amazon API. Now, this is great with this plugin because you can, you can do it with this plugin, 
But what you can also do with this plugin that some plugins don't allow you to do is you can choose an image. So when you click on Amazon image, there's often like five, six, seven, ten images of the product. You can actually choose which image you want to pull in. Now I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. If you want to use the short code and put an image in using the AAWP plugin, again, you go down here, you can see that this is the short code I paste in to add an image from Amazon and pull it in with the Amazon API, which is super important. So as you can see, we've got the Amazon field equals. So again, this is the ASIN number from Amazon, so it knows what products are on about. Now, this is where you can choose the image. You need to make sure you put image equals, and then you've got the one inside there. So if you put this in, you can put one, two, three, four, whatever number you want, and it will correspond with a different image. So that's how you choose which image you want to use. Again, I've got a custom tracking ID, so I know which article it's coming from. I've also, you can also choose how big you want the, the image to be, maximum. So I've choose, I've got, I'll put it in as large here, and you can also choose to align it in the center using this. And then you can use image width equals 500 in there. So you could have this as 800, 1000. This is in pixels, by the way, it's 500 pixels wide. So it just helps keep everything formatted within the article. And then you can add an image all of, a, of the actual product. So this is where you would actually describe what the picture is about or what the picture is of. So that's how you do that. So again, if you want to add images with AWP, this is this is the short code you would use, and if you want to choose the image, more importantly, you, you make sure you add this little bit here, and then you can choose which image you actually want to show. This is useful because quite often people pull in the first image that Amazon provides, so all the people who are promoting that product are usually showing the same product unless they took their own pictures or are using something like this. So by using a different image from Amazon still, but a different image, it often makes your review product stand out because you're just using a different image and you could use a few different images by, by this method and by using this plugin. I think that covers what I wanted to share in this video. So that is what I recommend. I recommend using the AAW plugin. It's an excellent way of adding these content boxes here. As I've shown you another one, this is how they would look. You could use them for a best pick, a runner up, a budget pick, best pick under so much. Uh, there's, the, there's a lot of ways you can use these to stand out. So I hope you found this helpful. Again, I've, I'll put a link in the description. It is an affiliate link, so I do earn a small commission. It does help me out. If you have liked this video and found it useful, don't forget to subscribe to see other videos like this, which are helpful, helping you create better sites. Don't forget to smash that like button as it really does help me out and get this video out to other people who will find it useful. Don't forget to click that bell to get notified every time I release a new video like this. And for now, that's it. Thank you for watching.